Hey vlog, it's a Monday and almost 11 p.m. and I haven't picked it up today because I haven't been feeling too great. But I'm feeling a little bit better now and I'm actually re-watching last week's vlog. Well, really it's the one that went up tonight, but it'll be last week for you. And I realized how shaky my arm was the entire time. I was going insane with it. I'm gonna try to do like a less shaky arm because that could be really annoying. Like I'm watching it back and I'm annoyed. So let's try to not do that. But tonight I had to come home from work early because I had an anxiety attack, which is super great and super fun. Love that, love when that happens. So I get to be up in Adam at the butt crack of dawn again tomorrow morning, which is lovely which means I should probably go to bed, but I won't anytime soon. Lord knows I can't sleep. But that's all that's really going on. I got stuff to make some t-shirts tonight. I picked everything up and I'm gonna make them soon. And after I go to work tomorrow, I'm actually going to run up to Michael's and get an X-Acto knife because I can't find where mine went and I need it to cut out the stuff for the shirt and all of that good jazz things. All I've really done tonight is Skype with Hayden and work on picking up my room, which I'm still gotta do. I'm gonna add the annotations to the end of this vlog because I haven't done that yet and it just went live so I want to make sure they're there when everybody finishes watching it and all of that good fun stuff. I really hope you can see me enough. I'm looking at my reflection in my iMac right now and I can see it from the back of the camera and it looks completely black so hopefully you can see my face. But that's all I have right now. I will catch you guys tomorrow or in just a few seconds. Whoa, I feel like it's been forever since I vlogged. I did not vlog at all yesterday. Today is now Thursday, which means I am seeing slash meeting Jordan Dow today. That also means me and my good friend Cassie are staying over at LJ's and Leo's house and we're going out there and I'm so excited and it's gonna be so fun and I get to meet Jordan and I did not vlog yesterday because I was incredibly sleep deprived and just like manic and out of my head all day. So like I didn't want to capture that on camera because it's not a fun time. And ended up passing out at like 9 p.m. which was good because that way I got sleep and I woke up without an alarm this morning like how wonderful is that but I'm so excited I made this shirt to wear it looks like shit and there goes my phone I am so pumped to see and meet Jordan Dow I'm also so pumped to go stay with LJ and Leo again and I am so excited and I'm going to take you guys along the way with me and all that so I'm just packing up my stuff right now and I will update you guys in a little little bit. Looks possible. Hello! Look Hi. who's- look where I am. I'm at LJ. Did you guys miss me? I think they did. Okay. I think they loved you. I got so I got many views on this vlog. Oh my gosh. We are getting ready to head out to go see Jordan. We're excited. I will update you as we go. We're all pumped so we are here. LJ, Leah walking away, <laughs> Cassie, and Sky. we are all getting ready. And Sky. <laughs> and we're all getting ready to go and all of that good stuff, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey, we're in line and Riley's too scared to vlog. Hey, so I took it over. It's now my vlog. People keep subscribe staring to me. At me. People keep staring subscribe at me. to me too. Uh, Asleep never the artist. To Leo. They don't, don't subscribe to any of them. Wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> Links Rude. below. Um, we're waiting. People keep giving me dirty looks because of my shirt, but you know what? Good for them. I'm gonna get you up. Uh, get you up. <laughs> get you up. And get you we, up. We're waiting for Jordan. America they were the supposed to. Ha ha ha. They were supposed to like let us in at six. Apparently, according to LJ, they're I supposed called. To, they're supposed to let us in at six. It's now six twenty-two, and Jordan is ignoring my DMs. <laughs> Figures. Love How that. dare you, Jordan? How dare you? How no, dare you? I'm kidding. You're fine. I also don't at, like people are here. Like twelve girls are here with like gifts for Jordan, and I feel bad that I didn't have one, so I just DM'd him, and I was like, uh, "My presence is your gift." Uh, so that's what we're at right now, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. You know, dance rooms I like to go to when it's like in improv, like on the spot, is like the whip, the nae <laughs> some gyrating. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I'm gonna say this and I don't mean to be rude, but whatever you do, do not mess this up for me. I swear. Uh, okay, well, shit. Shit, okay, guys, when the lights turn back on, we are in that audition room, okay? So I seriously need you guys to work it like nobody's business, okay? Dance, nobody's watching. Okay, I know there's a... <laughs> I'm Jordan Down, these are my backup dancers. <laughs>
sorry, but just stop whatever you're doing, okay? I'm in the I'm in the audition right now. Okay, great. The audition was actually calling for ballet dancers, so get to it. <laughs> Bye. Did you hear that? Um. Okay. No worries. No worries. Okay, guys. You heard what she said. We have to do ballet now. <laughs> I totally did not know this was gonna happen, but I have tutus. <laughs> Put them like that. No, put them like that. Put them like that. Put them like that. Hey guys, we got this. Assume positions. last picked up but what day is it uh today is friday. friday today's friday i'm with cassie we're back from lj's and leo's and i don't really know where i left off in that um i got to go up on stage with jordan dow that's cool you probably just saw that in here that was um a trip it was awesome you it, got a tutu it was pretty cool <laughs> It was so bad. It was so bad. And then I get to meet him afterwards, and he was honestly the sweetest human being. Like, he's so nice, and he gives the best hugs. Like, the best hugs. Seriously. <laughs> Cassie's, like, in love with him now. <laughs> he recognized Riley as Bay. He did. He did. <laughs> there was, like, a whole thing at the beginning where he, like, did an intro song, and then when he said Bay in the song, he pointed at me, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it was, it was great, because he, like, knew me from Twitter and everything, which is really cool and interesting and it was fun it was a fun time and I really enjoyed it but now it's Saturday and we're just chilling. no it's Friday it's Friday <laughs> it's Friday it feels like a Saturday you see the kind of mess that I'm in no because I work the next four days and then I only have a nine hours next week I'm so happy about that can you sense my sarcasm through the screen uh, <laughs> I'm so not happy about that but you know it is what it is. Gives you some free time for activities. <laughs> activities that I don't have money for because I don't have any hours. <laughs> hey, there's free shit to do. You could, like, go to the park and, like... And what? Pimp yourself out, maybe? I don't fucking know. Great. <laughs> Either way, I'm just hanging out with Kat, and then I gotta take her home soon. 
probably gonna work out my room a little bit because it still seems so messy to me even though it's like not messy but it's a clean oh, mess well. it's an organized mess it's an organized mess and i don't like it still okay i'm gonna go now my arm's starting to hurt i'll catch you guys in a little bit hello everyone it is riley there are loud things going on in the background it is now saturday and i don't know if you can tell or not but i just did my makeup for the first time and I went and bought a ton of makeup last night because I felt like it and I wanted to because I thought it would make me look cute and you know what it did my complexion is like all normal now and it's not all red it's splotchy and I love it did I tell you it's Saturday because it is now Saturday I just got done filming a trans education video so I'm going to edit that and then in a little bit I have to go to work mm. And then I work the next four days, but then I have five days off, which is super nice. So that means I have next weekend off completely, which is something I'm really, really, really looking forward to because I work today to Tuesday. And then after Tuesday, I have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off alone. I can edit, I can film, I can do whatever I want. That's going to be such a good time. Hayden might come over next weekend. It's just going to be great in general. But that's really all I'm doing. I've got to clean up my room a little bit because it's causing me a lot of stress. I know I said that already, but like I got to keep saying it because it's driving me nuts. Also, like I'm honestly so happy about makeup and like Mickey taught me how to do it. Mickey from my collab channel. She's great. She is the one who FaceTimed me today and walked me through the entire process, which was pretty great and exciting and amazing so props to Mickey thank you Mickey for all that good stuff I'm not really doing much now so I will catch you guys in a little bit okay so here's the deal it's 12 17 a.m. and I wanted to update this vlog but really I just wanted to talk more about Jordan Dow and more about Jordan Dow show you guys saw the clip of me dancing on stage and let me tell you that was the most nerve-wracking and anxiety-ridden thing I've ever done because especially like I've already watched it back and I'm so uncomfortable with the way I look but like mm, as a fat kid gotta deal with it as it is but it was also incredibly like anxiety ridden because like getting up on stage and doing something that I'm like incredibly uncomfortable doing in the first place was very <laughs> interesting i did it for jordan because i knew that that was like a thing that happened but i talked with jordan a little bit afterwards and he is just honestly so sweet and i don't think i said that enough before and that's why i'm like reiterating it again because he's such an important person in my life like he's had such a big impact and he's incredibly inspirational to me and is like one of those YouTubers that like kept me going when I was going through some really rough stuff and it, it means a lot to me that I got to go see a show and that I get to meet him and that he knows who I am and that's such a such a such cool thing and like one of my ultimate one of my ultimate dreams is to like collab with Jordan or like hang out with Jordan and not even as a not even as like a viewer to a creator but like as a creator to a creator a friend to a friend and I know that's such a long shot and probably never gonna happen but I just think it would be so cool because I look up to some of these creators so much including Jordan and I would I just want to be friends with them like that's such an interesting thing to say because I feel like I have a connection with these people that is beyond a viewer creator connection and there's so much that we could learn from each other and I think that it would be such a cool thing to like be able to talk with Jordan more about like queer stuff and LGBTQ plus stuff and YouTube stuff and everything like that and I don't know I just really want to be friends with YouTubers <laughs> especially YouTubers that have made a big impact on my life because I just want, I feel like I need to tell them all the time how much it means to me and like how big of an impact is and that's why I wish I had a little bit more time to talk to Jordan because I just wanted to let him know the extent of the impact that he's had on my life and I am going to go into a little bit here like what that was and what that was like so if you don't want it you might want to skip to the next couple minutes um but like I was in the hospital pretty much my entire high school career and that's why I had to kind of like drop out and get my GED and I don't know if a lot of you know that or not but I graduated at 16 because I dropped out and got my GED so it's the equivalent to a high school diploma and otherwise I would be a senior this year if everything had went as planned now 
I was in the hospital all the time. I was in the hospital once my freshman year, once my sophomore year, and then when it got to October of my junior year, so October of 2014, I was pretty much in the hospital from then until I stopped going to school. So it was like from then to April pretty much. I went back for one day, had a horrible interaction with the teacher, left and never showed up again. And I was in psych inpatient units. And I think I said this in a video called Battle Scars a while back, like a, when I first started my channel, that I was in psych inpatient units for um, depression, anxiety, psychosis, and things like that. Um, I have an incredibly extensive history with mental health and mental health issues, and that's something that is very close to my heart and sits very close to my heart. But it's something that I've gotten through, well, am getting through, and working through, and doing everything in my power to, like, make it better for myself. Um, February 5th of 2016 was my one year clean, which was an incredible accomplishment. And then coming up soon here in April will be my one year officially out of a psych unit. And I've never gotten to a year out of a psych unit within the past three or four years. It's been like in and out and in and out. And I haven't had a year where I haven't even been to the ER. And so April will be the one year anniversary of that. And and I'm, I'm trailing off, but like these YouTubers and these people that I watch and Jordan especially, like Jordan and Ben, especially Jordan and Ben, were some of the people that got me through so much stuff. They're the people that got me through that interaction that I had with the teacher, the really bad one when I stopped going to school. They're the ones who get me through a lot of like my mental health issues when I'm dealing with depression and stuff and it's hitting me really hard. I'll just go watch one of Jordan's videos and it immediately makes me feel better. And even Ben's videos don't even do that sometimes for me, which is weird because I'm a Ben stan. But it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible the kind of impact that he's had on my life. And not only that, but like with the queer stuff, like his uh, coming out video, the I Am Human Project thing that he did, I watched that and that was literally when it like clicked for me and I became started to become more comfortable with the fact that even though was a, I was a trans man and I was assigned female at birth and I identified as male, that I could still allow the feminine aspects of my personality to show. So things like wearing nail polish, wearing makeup, and everything like that, like I could still do and identify as male and be valid. And it was just like an incredibly important video of mine that I saw, and it was just everything about all of this ties into one another and things like YouTube have helped me so much through so much and I always feel like I want to tell these people that I meet that and these creators that have impacted me because there's only a handful that have really impacted me like this and Jordan's one of them and I just I want to be able to explain to them and like let them know really the impact they've had like and when I say that these youtubers and people like Jordan and Ben have saved my life I'm not saying that lightly I mean there were nights when I was sitting there <laughs> getting ready to do it and I was like on my last stretch of hope and I turned on a video or went and checked my subscriptions and there was a video from Jordan and I'd click on it and the thoughts would stop for five minutes and that was like a turning point for me when I realized that there could be something more to my life and that it seemed like these creators and these people saw that in me when I didn't see it in myself and that just changed my life completely and I know this is like so long-winded and you probably didn't want to hear any of this but I just felt like getting it off my chest and I don't know I'm just so uh, I just want to tell these creators that, I want to tell Jordan that, I want to tell Ben that, and those are pretty much two creators that have really, really done it for me like that, who have made such an impact on my life. And like Tyler has, and Troy has, and Connor has, but I don't think they have to the extent that like Ben and Jordan have, they've had such a huge impact on my life. And I cannot thank them enough for that and I know this is so sappy and it's like I've been talking for like 10 minutes it's ridiculous but 
I'm not gonna let you go now. I just, I'm gonna go to bed. And then, well, it's technically Sunday. So, it's Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go now. I'm sorry you had to listen to that. Alright, I will catch you guys in a little bit. Hello, everybody. It is now Sunday, which means it is Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. My face feels weird. I just washed it with an acne wash, and it's all, like, tight, which is kind of uncomfortable. But I wanted to say, hey, happy Easter. I also wanted to end the vlog here. I love you guys, and I want to thank you for watching my weekly vlogs every week. It's super cool. Someone's walking in the house. That's great. But I'm excited for these next couple weeks, being able to vlog and do all of that good stuff basically I just wanted to say make sure if you enjoyed this vlog you give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to you can subscribe to my channel because I do a weekly vlog every week now and if you don't know I have a main channel which you can check out the link is below also the link to my collab channel and a giveaway that's going on on my tumblr right now so if you want to check out any of that all of the links to everything will be below so yeah I love you guys and I will see you next week bye